Hi everyone, Avery Thompson here at Tallest Tree Studios with legendary musician Victor Jones. Victor, how are you today? Oh, so everything is fine, Avery. Just, uh, you know, trying to get this trio group together. Been working, been playing, been feeling good. So, Victor, how and when did you become interested in jazz trio music? Let's see, I started playing uh, in the 70s, you know, being known around New York City and, and, uh, in the States. So who started me on jazz trio music? I mean, I listened to jazz trio music when I was a child uh, coming up, listening to eight, everyone from Bud Powell to Art Tatum to Ramsey Lewis to uh, Chick Corea and Keith Jarrett, who was one of my favorite pianists in the world. So I got started playing trio music with uh, a woman piano player who's a great piano player. Her name is Joanne Brakeen. So that's, I think, the first trios I started playing was with Joanne and another piano player named Masabumi Kikuchi. And uh, since then, I've been playing with a lot of trios, everyone from John DiMartino to, uh, and I traveled the world with the great uh, virtuoso Michelle Petrucciani. Wow, Michelle Petrucciani. I believe we have a clip of you playing with him. Let's take a look. Oh, here's a, a bumper sticker. It's a bumper sticker that we use. Shelly and the Nasty Boys. There's Michelle, there's Andy, there's me, and there's Adam. This is the original Nasty Boys. <laughs> Le concept de Nasty Boys, c'était pas seulement la musique et les musiciens. Il y avait aussi toute une série d'amis autour. Over the years, you've played with all sorts of musicians, big bands, quartets. Why now the trio? Well, the way the drums sound, and especially the top cymbal in a, in a trio setting, to me sounds so much better than when there's a lot of horns or or a saxophone or a trumpet or a guitar screaming in the back. I just like the way, and this, I like the space of it, and I, I don't know, maybe it's just the power of three. Now I notice you also have a string quartet that plays with the trio occasionally. Who are these string players? The string players are, are a group called the Sweet Plantain. Uh, they're from New York City, all young Latin guys who play I guess it's called legitimate music. Not that what I play is illegitimate, but you know they play classical music around New York, and they do a lot of uh, a lot of Broadway shows. Wow! Sounds like they're doing a lot of great things. Let's take a look at a clip of them, shall we? Very cool. And how about the vocalist? Who's that? So the vocalist is a young lady from, uh, uh, where is she from? Kyoto. She's from Kyoto, Japan. Her name is uh, Taiko. She's a really great vocalist. She's really well known in Japan. And she really has a great rapport with the audience, not to mention a wonderful voice. She can sing in Japanese. She can sing in French. She can sing in English. and. Uh, She's a great asset to this group. So tell me about your current trio. Is that Alex Blake on bass? He's famous, right? Alex Blake is one of the greatest bass players, one of the most original voices that I've heard on the upright bass, and not only upright bass, but also electric bass. 
uh, one of the most unique voices that I've heard on that upright bass. And him and I have been playing together for, I don't know, since the early 80s. And we, I don't know how many records we made together and how many tours we toured the world. And he's worked with everyone from the Manhattan Transfer to uh, McCoy Tyner. And he's a great bass player. So that's Alex Blake. Wow. Alex Blake sounds like a true talent. I believe we have a clip of him. Let's take a look. Absolutely phenomenal. So Victor, how about the rest of the band? Who's the piano player? The piano player is a young kid that nobody knows except me and a few late night people in New York City. His name is Dylan Meek. And Dylan is from uh, Austin, Texas. He's a young guy. I think he just turned like 21 or 22 years old. And he's going to be one of the great uh, piano players, I think on the jazz scene. Wow, sounds like a talented group. So, uh, what about those electronic drums? That's not something you typically hear in a piano trio. Now we're reaching into the realm of, of contemporary music. You see this traditional music, the traditional trio of, of Bill Evans or even Gonzalo. I like him. I like his playing a lot. But, uh, you know, when I played with Stan Getz, he was always into whatever, whatever was coming next, whatever was new, whatever was innovative. So, you know, I, I'm a Yamaha artist, and I've always, I've been playing electronic drums since the mid-80s, what year is it now, 2013. I've been playing electronic drums, and, you know, it doesn't matter what instrument it is, it matters, it matters what you do with it. not the instrument that's playing the music, it's the musician. So I'm able to incorporate these sounds, these beautiful sounds, some of them are spacey, some of them are futuristic sounds, into what's known as a traditional jazz trio. So what are your plans for this group, the Orchestrio? Orchestrio. So, I, you know, I come from a background as a trumpet player, playing in a symphonic orchestra in school and playing in like really large ensembles. So I always wanted to have a, an orchestra sound with as, as few of musicians that I can. So the orchestrio, one of my plans for it, our plan is to, to record and to get a nice tour bus and tour from America. I mean, tour from New York all across America to California and have this band working. So Vic, you've traveled all over the world. Let's take a look at some of the places you've been. I traveled around the world as a sideman. I've done all I could do. I played in front of hundreds of thousands of people around the world, every place on the face of this earth. This is India and Africa and Japan, the taiko drummers in Japan, and uh, that, that also influenced me.
My main influence in drums was Art Blakey because you know, not only was he a dear friend of mine, but uh, he was just a great teacher, a great drummer, and, and I try to fashion my whole band and my whole thing after him. Well, Vic, looks like we gotta wrap things up. Is there anything you'd like to tell the audience before we go? Okay, so we have our new CD just coming out. It'll be out, uh, this is the month of October, so it'll be out in November uh, of 2013. So Victor Jones Orchestra Trio. The name of the CD is Time for Class. And you can find it on the Artist Fan label if you go to artistfan.com. Artistfan.com. Looking forward to uh, playing for you all and coming to your town soon. Thank you very much. And thank you, Victor. Well, you heard the man, artistfan.com. Get that CD, Time for Class, as soon as you can. I'm Avery Thompson here at Tallest Tree Studios, and you just watched Victor Jones's Life Story.
say